Well, good morning and actually good day. And welcome to the latest episode of the Urain Ordonez Five Diamond Group Cocktail Hour. Ironically, you see us now. Uh, here you go, Isaac. I got I got a plastic cup here, uh, and I'm I'll explain that to you. At a, I'm quarantining at a bar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's been a minute, a hot minute, that we've uh, kind of pushed pause, but we are excited to get back on this video train, as they say, because we know we've heard some positive feedback, and we love to hear that, uh, which, by the way, if you can take a moment to subscribe down below, like this video if you like it at the end, and more importantly, uh, subscribe to our notifications so that we can let you know when the next video is loaded and go from there. In today's episode, Isaac, as you can see, is not here in the office in Las Vegas. Where are you at, Isaac? I'm in Dallas, Texas. Where COVID Vegas. Central? I mean, Dallas. <laughs> Apparently, apparently, it was a shooting earlier. And I was notified. And- yeah, man. So that came over the news feed, and I was like, wait, where's Arlington? And I remembered, but I had to look it up. And yeah, it's right down the street from me, man. So, yeah, yeah. duck and cover. I think you know that drill. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at a bar. Hopefully, you didn't make it here. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is in Dallas, Texas on this particular day, sir? Uh, I'm here at the Tom Perry Summit 2021. If, uh, for those of you who do not know who Tom Perry is, he is uh, the number one real estate coach eight years running. Uh, he coaches some of the, I think you said he coaches um, 40 or 50 of the top 100 agents. Uh, just to kind of let you know, if you ever watch Million Dollar Listing in New York, I ran into Kirsten, um, who is a coaching member. Uh, so she was walking around, happy to, uh, we were getting, um, uh, checked in and uh, happened to walk by and I you know, said hi to her and uh, one of the case studies that was mentioned was also a fellow with me from Million Dollar Listing. So that just tells you the level uh, of coaching that Tom Ferry provides. And so I'm here trying to learn a thing or two so I can take it back and be able to service our clients even much better than we have already been doing. Now you're no stranger to Mr. Ferry. Not. This is not your first I, I, rodeo in Dallas. No. Uh, so in 2017, I was in, uh, uh, sorry, 2018, I was in Anaheim uh, for Tom Ferry Summit for the first time. I had never heard of, of Tom Ferry until we were with our uh, first uh, brokerage uh, who were coaching members and we were able to attend uh, a Tom Ferry Summit for the first time. So didn't know what to expect, didn't know what what it was about but came out super super pumped uh, if you are a real estate agent doesn't matter what part of the, the, na- the nation or as a matter of fact what part of the world uh, I definitely recommend you, you know, following him uh, checking out his uh, resources uh, tab on his webpage because they have a lot of lot of good information there was a, a gentleman that was interviewed from Brazil he owns a broker out in Brazil and he was a coaching member as well so uh, you yeah, said Brazil? No yes, Brazil. Nice. Not very international. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, and so this is not your first time visiting a Tom Ferry event. We know we know coaching is uh, one of the best ways, not just to level up in your business, but to hold yourself accountable. Since you've got the the goods informationally, you're fresh from there. Why would you say that coaching is a critical factor for the agent buyers and sellers are looking to work with? Um, it's like I mentioned earlier when we got on this call, you know, even the best you know, train and they, they have a coach uh, just to figure the best of them, they no longer need it. And so uh, I'm a big believer that there's always somebody better than you, right? And growth mindset doesn't stop. So you want to get better than you were yesterday or the year before, last you know, the month before. We all make mistakes and we all have some hurdles to go through. And so coaching is a perfect way of kind of identifying those deficiencies, bettering them, 
I'm working on the, on the next thing. And a friend of mine told me one time, he's like, we're, we're uh, regarding a different public coaching, but he mentioned something uh, along the lines of, we're now going to nitpick, not because we want to nitpick, but because you've done everything well, and now we want to like kind of identify the little fine tune everything. Uh, and so we're going to nitpick, you know, and, and don't, don't get offended. He's like, you, you're just at that level where we can do that. And so that's kind of the biggest reason of, of being here is kind of fine tuning uh, our team, our, our business partnership, uh, and all for the means of helping out more clients. Because one of the biggest things, and this is really what I want to share with everybody 32% of people rank real estate agents five or lower for trustworthiness on a scale of one to 10. 42? 32. 32 percent of yeah. people ranked realtors a five or lower in trust issues we are probably right along the lines with auto mechanics and so the number one reason why these people said that they don't trust us is because they think that we lie and and unfortunately like in any other in any industry there's the good apples and the bad apples uh, unfortunately, there's probably a lot more bad apples than good. And so uh, changing that stereotype of our industry is very, very important uh, to myself, and I know it is to you as well. Absolutely. And that, sir, is exactly one of the reasons, one of the challenges I had getting back into this business is having that stereotype tied to me. Uh, and I, And w the shift that I took was after one of those classes uh, was to know that I can, I, we can make a change. We can make a direct change by simply bringing the value systems that we already hold in our lives. So that's one of the reasons why, for those of you that don't know, Isaac and I have a pretty decent relationship in this partnership is because we hold the same value system and we have similar objectives as well as similar perspectives on, um, you know, the, the future of, where we think this, not only the industry is going, but us as individuals, as agents, how we can impact uh, our clients and the community as a whole. That's super important to us because, because of this challenge, because there's too many people out there taking advantage of folks and fueling that perspective. So I, I'm with you, man. Uh, I'm, that's part of my mission is, is being able to have not just the transparency, but the trust factor from clients and it's super, super encouraging to get that when we get our reviews. Yeah. Absolutely. 32%. Very cool, man. And so one thing that I want to you know, kind of mention is and to say how proud I am of our, our team. Uh, we've helped about 40 families this year alone get it either sell or buy their home. And you're saying, you know, which is a model we live by, you know, providing the right information the first time. And, and that's been really, really crucial. And even though, you know, not those exact words have been used here in, in this conference, but uh, we definitely have seen that, that that's you know, the biggest emphasis is helping out clients. It's not about the money. Like, yeah, we all want to get paid. And, and, you know, we get paid for what we do, but really it's, it's about helping our clients and really about educating them and making sure that they make the right choice. So that way they can, you know, be good with the decision that they've made. Yes, sir. 40, 40 clients uh, so far this year. And our ratio still stands at the moment. Almost no, over 95% of them paid nothing out of pocket in one of the most inventory tight years ever on record. Historically. Pretty proud, um, man. The one person that what would you say ninety percent? I said over ninety five. <laughs> oh, ninety five. That five percent is myself, you know. So just just to uh, just to let everybody know, you know, that <laughs> we're not lying to you when we're telling you that the market is here, and uh, you know we had to come in above uh, asking, price. asking price, and so uh, to be able to help our clients out and not to have them pay any penny over over appraisal value is amazing. Uh, except for myself. <laughs> <laughs> you almost myself. had it. You actually, it was kind of a draw, man. You had, you, you yeah. had, you had that over, 
and you ended up getting that split. It was, in fact, the numbers that you hit on that one were dead on when your yeah, initial but, offer. Yeah. But just to let everybody know, we're not lying here, trying to just make you spend more. I know there was an article out a little while ago, you know, agents are the one, the cost of this, this is, you know, so-called inflation. And, uh, and I'm like, no, you know, like, it just depends on if you love the home, you're going to pay for it. You know? That's right. Sometimes you need something. Uh, I, I, I'm a pretty bargain shopper. I, I wait for deals and I try to get the biggest discount on pretty much everything. I have a thing. So, uh, I, I don't like to pay retail price. But sometimes I need something. I need it now. And I can't wait for it to go on sale. And so we all need somewhere to live. And so if you're being... Uh, uh, What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, if you got a 30 day notice on, on your property, on your rental, and you need a move, and you're going to go pay more than you want, would for the same as a mortgage, why not just buy, right? And so now you need a home. And, and it's not that you're going to pay whatever ridiculous amount of money, but you need it. And so we're going to figure out a way to do it. And we're going to do it always trying to save you as much money as possible. Yeah. And so to, to add on to that counterpoint uh, for that article, um, you know, it, it's not the agents that are fueling this. We have two major factors that are impacting real estate right now. Uh, the first is a lot of people have a lot of money saved up from, from uh, the pandemic, as well as equity that they've gained in their houses wherever they're at. So that's driving a lot of those cash offers. The second part is technology, which I'd love to do a different episode on, a uh, different episode that would talk about how technology is technically impacting our real estate market now it's you know technology has tried but having a direct impact on 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 the actual like appreciation value and the number of homes sold technology is now actually had an impact and the result of it in in its short version is that people can live anywhere now and still get their job done because of technology. And so that's the impact that we're seeing across the board, across the country and why there's been a shortage nationally on that. So, all right, Isaac, I can't wait for you to get back and, you know, download more information for us uh, on our team. We've got like two minutes left on this before we go, you've got your cocktail. I've got mine. Tell us what yours is before we go. You sir are on mute. And it's I a perfect it. margarita. <laughs> uh, it's pretty warm out here, and I just wanted something a little cold and refreshing. So, a little citrusy. And I need to be I need to be awake for the for the rest of the conference because I'm going back there. But so I don't want to pass out. <laughs> Very cool, man. I stopped by Public Us this morning. They served me a old fashioned espresso. The formula that they made. They they she explained to me that they do their own mixers in-house and they have this one special formula that creates an old-fashioned like espresso and it tastes amazingly good so i want to go back to them and i'd like to not just record the process but show that experience for public us because they're downtown they're right down the street really awesome location to hang out with and have an excellent excellent espresso on that man so cool bud well thank you for uh, representing Absolutely. Give a hug and a pound to whoever we see, even Tom. Yeah, yeah we're going to go hang out with him. Tonight. Cool, man. Cool, man. Safe travels. Right. You know, mask it up if you can, because they're not doing it much over there. <laughs> they're not. I have your drinks coming. Right on, brother. All right, buddy. I'll let you get back to your meal. Thank you so much for your time. Awesome. Until the next episode, this is the Arain Ordonias 5 Diamond Group Cocktail Hour. Say in peace. <laughs> ah, man. <laughs> All right. Ciao. You're bringing man. me a new one. Oh, <laughs> right, boy. See you. Later,